Hello and welcome to the second in the Mulberry Bush series of bite-sized videos. This video focuses on attachment theory. Attachment theory isn't new. In fact, it's been written about since the Second World War, most notably by John Bowlby, but also by many other people. It is as relevant today as it ever has been. So what is attachment? When babies are born, they start building an attachment relationship with their key caring figure. The quality of this attachment is incredibly important. It is this which enables a baby to feel safe and secure, not just as a baby, but throughout their lives. The early months for a baby are crucial in laying the foundations for their lives. The attachment relationship is a biological process and is specifically based on how the main carer responds to the baby. The tone of voice they use, their eye contact, the funny noises we make with babies, etc. But attachment is also about how the carer manages the baby's distress. The baby needs to feel that whenever they are hungry, tired, need changing and so on, the carer can manage these feelings and make things better for the baby. Now in most baby carer relationships, this is relatively natural. However, not all children grow up feeling secure and safe, and this is often linked to their experiences of their carers, but may also include environmental factors. For example, where carers, for whatever reason, are unable to meet the child's needs and are perhaps inconsistent in their care or dismissive of the baby's needs or neglectful and abusive, this will impact on the quality of the attachment relationship. John Bowlby sums this up nicely by saying, Nurturing adult attachments provide children with protective, safe havens and secure bases from which to explore and engage with others and their environment. I heard there were different types of attachment. Is that right? Yes, that's right. There are different types. And these are categorised as secure, which most people are, or insecure. And there are three different types of insecure attachment called ambivalent, avoidant and disorganised. Now these styles of attachment refer to the child's ability to build secure, safe relationships with others. Most children function perfectly well regardless of their attachment style. However, for some children, their attachment style might make it difficult to form the relationships necessary to allow them to learn effectively. So what does this look like in the classroom? Well, it depends on the child's attachment experiences in their early lives and therefore their type of attachment. But for example, a child with a secure attachment might appear cooperative and resourceful, someone who's resilient and seeks help and interaction in an age-appropriate way. They may feel confident in their own abilities and seek help when needed. Whereas a child with insecure attachment might present as being overly reliant on others, unable to ask for help or unwilling to accept help if offered. These children may appear anxious upon separation from an adult, even if that's just an adult moving away to help another child. It's possible the children with an insecure attachment may seek or reject the close proximity to adults and all their peers. They may be easily distracted or distracting of others in the classroom, as well as academically underachieving. It's possible that a child with an insecure attachment could have low levels of empathy towards others, and as a result of all this, the children are likely to have a high impact on staff leaving staff with feelings of confusion, anxiety and helplessness. These are the children most likely to struggle with unstructured times, such as break times or lunch times, and transitions, who may be uninterested or unable to benefit from a relationship with an adult, who often ignore or refuses help from adults. They may struggle with group work, preferring to work independently and may focus on the task, but may still be underachieving. They may also be the children who display risky behaviours. Great. So how can I support a child with attachment difficulties? OK, well, first, try asking yourself these questions to explore what's really going on for the child. Be mindful of their developmental age. How does this differ from their chronological age? Do all staff have similar experiences with the child? What feelings are evoked in staff when working alongside this child? What impact does this have on the child's ability to learn? What support might the staff and child need to be able to manage their relationship? So can you give us some helpful strategies? OK, well, to try and help the child by developing their capacity to think about their behaviour and how others behave. Help them experience a positive sense of themselves and learn that they can trust in others. Have clear and explicit behavioural rules. Have a culture of empathy. Help children have positive experience of emotions and to understand and manage these, 
even the more negative emotions. Make sure as staff you stay calm and provide clear responses. Provide empathy and support for negative emotions. Don't just be punitive. Show that you understand their reasons for negative emotions and find ways to help them manage these. As well as thinking about the individual child, it's also important to think about the whole school setting. This can provide the foundation to children feeling the school is a safe and secure place to be. That's been really helpful. But where can I learn more about working with attachment?